meeting me today. <laughs> um, so could you give us a short introduction of who you are and what you do? My name is Reed Miles and I am a autism advocate. I make it possible to let those who are on the spectrum know they're not alone in the fight with autism because there are a lot out there who feel alone when they're going through this whole thing they're dealing with. Yeah, yeah. And so what are you doing? I, I know that you are, are a podcaster. So mm -hmm. could you tell us the name of your podcast and what's it all about? <laughs> the name of my podcast is Inside the Asperger Studio. And it's basically all about, I talk with people all over the professions from who deal with Asperger's and ADHD, and I talk and I, I talk about topics that those who are more introverted are afraid to talk about, and that's when that's how you and your community got involved. That's how I reached out to Leah because there are those who are very introverted who are so afraid to talk about ta sex because it's such a taboo subject to them. Mm. Okay, so you reached out to Leah. And what exactly was your question and what did she respond? My qu I wanted to talk to her about has she dealt with anybody, any of her clients who are on the spectrum and have they, has she dealt with anyone who's on the spectrum and what was her response and how she dealt with it? And she's like, None of her clients were on the spectrum, but she, she came back to me and saying, what I can do for you, though, is I can put a shout out to the community, my community, her community, and say, hey, is there anyone out there who's actually, uh, who's dealt with clients on the spectrum? Hmm. Okay. And what was the outcome of her referral? <laughs> I... The outcome of the referral is I had over, I have four different people contacting me. That's uh, great. All over, all over Europe. Awesome. And so have I had you... four different topic. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. I, so I've had people cover four different topics dealing with the issues of sex and intimacy and dating and even a clinic, even a wellness clinic in Malta with a dating program oh wow <laughs> yeah. amazing so you've done interviews with all of the four of them yes you can find cool. all their interviews actually on my podcast oh awesome i will link it so that people can see what you have done <laughs> cool yes. um so what is your takeaway from this experience with Leah and the other sex birds? My takeaway is that um, sex isn't, in Europe at least, sex isn't as taboo as it is here. Yeah. That out there, you, your experts are very, have dealt with these subjects. I mean, like I said, I've dealt with four different areas and all of them were very open in how they dealt with it. And I was surprised that a lot of them have dealt with clients or have known somebody that's on the spectrum, which is an added bonus. I mean, they, not just to have a client, but to actually know somebody in your own family that's mm. on the spectrum kind of adds a bonus to how they work with with their clients yeah awesome what kind of topics di did you discuss on the podcast um, episodes well the first one was dating and relationships second one was sex and dealing with sex and relationships then intimacy and then talking about this dating program that 
the clinic had put up for those on the spectrum and how a success rate happened. Oh, wow, that sounds really, really interesting. I will definitely have a listen to that afterwards. <laughs> yeah. All right. Awesome. So where can people find you if they want to get in touch with you and do an episode with you or just want to know they more can, about you? They can either go to my blog at aspergerstudio.com. They can contact me at read at inside the as, at aspergerstudio.com. And, or they can just go to my blog and there's my contact information right there and they can just click on the contact and just email me right up. Just give me a date and a time if they're interested with and what kind of topics they want to discuss and we, the rest we'll talk about. Awesome. That sounds amazing. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> Not a problem, Michelle. All right. So then... Thank you very much for the short interview. Thank you for, no the, for the information. And I'm sure that people will get in touch with you. <laughs> I'm hoping. All right. So then, see you soon. <laughs> see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.